Hello guys, this video will show you when you should fill it all edges instead of one at a time. And real quick guys, if you're interested in learning plasticity, I've got a new course on Udemy. Link is in the description, it's the first one there. I've got tree cutting mechs, I've got SMGs, I've got dark energy swords, I've got spider drones, and much more content on the way. There's about 30 hours of content right now and more is being added weekly. So a lot of times guys, when you're working on something, let's say a corner box, you know, you got something like this and, you know, you can go ahead and fill it one edge or one group at a time. So you can, you know, you can fill it this and then you can fill it these, right? And then you can fill it, uh, you know, this right here and then you can fill it this. So in this situation, we kind of fill it um, all these edges individually. But sometimes, guys, it's a good idea to do them all at the same time. And I'm going to show an example. So if I go ahead and create a sphere, let's say, and so there's a very cool detail that's fun to create, which is you start with a cylinder on the face. I'll go ahead and make it a press B for a new body. All right, and I'll go ahead and just, uh, you know, I'll just RR to screen space rotate. And I will uh, do a little bit of something like this, for example. All right, and you know, I'll select this, I'll press D, all right. Now I'll select this object, Shift D. I'll press V and set up this custom uh, custom pair right here. And I'll press Z to move that out. All right, I will G, I'll press F for free space. And I want to snap, uh, let's say this to that. Actually, let's uh, isolate these objects. So what I'll do is I'll select this, I'll press G and F to activate freestyle. And I will kind of snap the center to that. All right, so now I'll select this object and I'll select this and I'll press Q, Q to merge, Boolean merge, and then I'll select this and then hold shift and select that and I'll press Q to remove. All right, so we've got this very fun detail here, guys. So you may think, okay, you want to go ahead and fill up this. Well, you know, you select this edge and you do that. Okay, now something strange happens right here. So you think, okay, maybe, maybe I'll select that and I'll fill up that. Okay, so as you can see here, you just get kind of strange results that you probably probably don't want. I mean, you might want this. Let's switch to viewing mode, right click on this. So you may want this, but as you can see, you just get strangeness here that you kind of have to um, just kind of uh, doesn't look right. So you know, if I select this, you know, it doesn't doesn't quite look the way you would expect. I mean, maybe if you're going for something more alien, maybe you want this, but if you're going for something more traditional or something that looks kind of a more standard then here's what you do in this situation guys you want to go ahead and select all of this and so now if you press d to fill out this as you can see we now get a much better uniform result so as opposed to what we had previously guys sometimes it's best to select all the edges connecting and fill them all at the same time to get the desired result after this i can press through switch to face level select this press o for offset all right then i can select this and extrude in words you know chamfer and continue working on this so thank you for watching and take care